thank you for the opportunity to be here. Um, I, I, I'm a little always mystified by the concept of people wanting to change the format of the IGF um, on the theory that perhaps we need one more organization in which governments participate that can make decisions. Because I think you can take the alphabet, choose any three to four letters in the alphabet, put them together, and you will find a governmental organization that makes decisions. So the fact that we need to have one more seems an illogical concept at the outset because, in fact, we already have too many. So the question is then, is there a unique value to the IGF? And I think Wolfgang put it very well in the sense that I just discovered this is on wheels. Um, uh, the, um, the, the IGF plays a unique role in the sense that it is a place where you talk, because in so many of these other organizations, people forget to talk because they negotiate from the second they get into the room. And the exchange of ideas in a credible fashion, which allows you to be the laboratory clearinghouse, early warning system scout, and watchdog, is in fact the value of the IGF, is what makes it unique, is what makes it special and needs to be kept in that fashion because that is what no longer exists at most all of the other organizations because you start with this is the piece of paper we're going to end up with. And the second you start with this is the piece of paper we're going to end up with, everybody starts in negotiating mode. No one comes in with an open mind. Everyone comes in with a negotiating position. You don't get the networking in the hallways. You don't get the exchange of ideas on the panels. You don't get the ability to be an input anywhere else because you're too concerned with your output. And when you focus on the output as opposed to being an input, you lose all the value that the IGF has to offer. Because it's then just one more document to throw into a panoply of other documents that exist <clears throat> that have a purpose for the sectoral or specific nature of the organization but don't have much broader applicability. So for me, the value of the IGF, and I participate in a lot of the alphabet, so the OECD, APEC, ASEAN, you name it, I, I, I play in those places. Um, the value of the IGF is that it can be an input to all of those places because it, in fact, doesn't have the output. If it had an output, it would be the competitor of all of those places. But failing to have an output means it is a valuable input to each of those discussions. Where Wolfgang is also right is, those three letters are not known anywhere near broadly enough. If we want to talk about how to improve the IGF, I think Kenya, even though I wasn't able to make it to Kenya, was a good example of where benefit can happen by enhanced participation in developing economies, by ways in which their stories are told, and by ways in which we understand how to make the knowledge available in the panels applicable after the panel is over. Because one of the problems is a lot of the IGF is great when you're there, but not lasting when you leave. And so the fact that there are more, more and more local versions of IGFs in prep meetings coming up is useful, but there isn't the debrief meeting. There isn't the what did we learn when we were there, what lessons can we take home with us meeting that happens after the IGF. So some of the practical knowledge that was used in that exchange is only limited to the people who attended and is not spread more widely. And one of the things that could be useful is figuring out mechanisms to spread that knowledge more widely by having the debrief meeting of, gee, things we picked up at the IGF that we might be able to use in our home country or in our department or in our irrigation project or what have you that may be something you learned. I did also want to make two other points. When, when, when the early warning system was mentioned because, gee, there might be a problem there, I completely agree that's useful. But you know, there's also an early warning system of, gee, there might be a benefit there. And the IGF doesn't do a very good job of looking for the benefit. It does a better job of looking for the problem. And I think part of the IGF should also be, what is the beneficial application of the technology? Because that is an essential part of capacity building to talk about how the internet is useful, not just what might be a problem in the way you use the internet. Uh, the other thing I think we need to be a little concerned about, I understand the concept of the framework, but I'm also concerned that the framework becomes an output. And the framework may change the, the status of the IGF into more of a negotiating body. So there might be a way to find a middle ground for the IGF to be an important input 
into the development of the framework, but not, in fact, the body that develops the framework. Because I think that would then preserve the character of the IGF while giving it utility that a thematic discussion that could be had would be related to the framework. So I guess my closing thought is the IGF are three letters that aren't like all the other letters that you get to put together, and let's keep it that way.